today I want to talk about what Pentecost will become and what it used to be. A lot of times today you'll see people in cliques, people hanging out with friends, some of that to come to their youth group or into their church. They'll push them away. It's like they're just looking for a certain group. But the Bible says for us to go out into all the world. It tells us to go out into all the world and preach the gospel unto every man. Matthew 28, 19. It says, Matthew 28, 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. It's Matthew 28, 19, and 20. A lot of times we want to stick to our little cliques and our little groups, and we don't go out into the world. We don't witness the people. We just want to be comfortable, if we want to say it. But the Bible tells us to go out into the world and to witness. Jesus said to baptize them and teach all nations. Baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That name is Jesus. We all know that. And if you don't, just get with me and I'll send you some scriptures to let you know. A lot of times, I see people, it looks like they're thinking that they're in a predestined Pentecost. A lot of times, Pentecost nowadays think, hey, I'm Pentecostal, quote. So, I'm saved. They look on the fact of, I'm saved. But we can't look at that because it's not one state already saved. God tells us to go out into all the world and teach and baptize in His name. That's a commandment right there. If you don't obey the commandments, you're not going to heaven. So, we got to let this world know about this truth. We got to be a witness to them, try to save them from this dreadful hell that we know of. Because there is a heaven, there is a hell. Whether we like to admit it or not, how much are we really trying to be a witness to this world? How much are we really trying to go out there and spread the gospel to let our light shine, to let them know the world, to let this world know the truth? We can't just sit around and hope somebody else will do it. God has called us, each and every one of us as individuals, to go out as Christians, as Pentecostals, as apostolics, and to spread this truth. How is the world going to know? That, about this truth that we have if we don't let them know it. Acts 2.38 I'll go there for you. Acts 2 and 38 it says Then Peter said unto them Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Let me back up for a minute right there. We'll go to verse 37 first. It says, Now when they heard this, they were all pricked in their heart, and said unto Peter, and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. 39. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, that all are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. A lot of people say, well, the Holy Ghost speaking tongues or just for the ones back in those Bible days. Well, there it is right there, people. Verse 39. It says, For the promise is unto you and to your children, to all that are far, even as many as the Lord God shall call. He's called everyone to be saved. John 3 and 5. Well, let me read all of John, uh, the first part of John chapter 3. It says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man could do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, how can, a man, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter to the second time into his mother's womb and be born? 
Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto you, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. It says right there, you must be born again of the water and the Spirit. Being born again in the water, that's baptism in Jesus' name. You gotta repent and then be baptized. That says in Acts 2.38. Being born of the Spirit, that's receiving the Holy Ghost, but everything's speaking in tongues. It says we must be born again. A lot of people are like, well, how do you know the Holy Ghost? How do you know you have the Holy Ghost? Because you'll hear them speak with other tongues. That's the Spirit of God gives it to others. Go back to Acts right quick for y'all. Chapter starting chapter two verse one and it said and when, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came out a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire, and it set upon each and it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them to other. That's how we know that it, <clears throat> when you get, that's how you know you have to speak in tongues to get the Holy Ghost. Because it said there was filled with the Holy Ghost. Because it said, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them to other. We gotta show this world about this truth. We gotta let them know. That there is a real truth. This is it. There ain't no many ways to be saved. But it's Acts 2.38 message. It's John 3 and 5 message. It's the only way to be saved. This King James Bible is the only way. The only truth. His word remains forever. The, everything is going to pass away. But his word is going to remain forever. It said, The wind listeth where the wind listeth. And I hear it sound there uh, in John 3 and 8. But canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. We can hear the wind. We can feel the wind. But we can't see it. That's like the Holy Ghost. We can feel the Holy Ghost. We can hear the Holy Ghost talking to us. That's how we know it's real. Like, how do you know the Holy Ghost is real if we can't see it? Because you can feel the fire burning in you. We can begin to pray to Him and the Holy Ghost come down in you. And you'll have a daily relationship with him, and he'll come down and talk to you. Let's get on that part. A relationship is love. If a man and wife, husband and wife, don't see each other for weeks, they, and they don't talk, they begin to lose that relationship, that love they have for one another. That's the same thing with us and God. We don't talk to Jesus. On a daily basis, we'll begin to lose our love. Therefore, we lose a relationship. And the only way we're going to get the revival that this generation needs to see is if we get that relationship with God. The Bible says sometimes only come by praying and fasting. And we got to pray and fast like never before. we got to let this world know the truth of Jesus. Because there's going to come a day when you don't have your Bibles. And you got to hide it in your heart. It says hide it. My, my word in thy heart that they might not sin against it. We gotta get on fire for this truth. We gotta start a blaze. We can't wait for somebody else to go to spread this gospel. Cause what if that person you think that's gonna spread the gospel doesn't? It's up to us. Like, well, you might think, well, I'm not equipped for it. Let me tell you, God don't call the equipped. He equips the call. If you have a desire for God, He'll do it for you. So don't live a life as a pharisaical Pentecostal but let's do as Jesus Christ told us to do and go out and preach his gospel to all the world so they must so that they can be saved. God bless y'all.